This conference will now be recorded. So, hello, UI Path Exports. So, welcome to the UI Path Learner channel. So, so today I just come up with the uh, how to call, how to use the API, orchestrator API. So, REST API service. So, here in the picture, so you are seeing two robots, one robot. So, this is a third party application. So any third party applications? can trigger the robot from the orchestrator okay so any third party application so you can click the robot you can trigger the robot from the any web application so for example so on dot and developers they they are basically creating the one website so once they are filling the form in entire form so if they submit the form immediately it has to trigger the dot net application has to trigger the robot which is already published in the orchestrator so not only .NET, you can uh, call in the any third party applications, Python or Perl, anything, okay? So here, so as I don't have a, so those softwares, so what I am doing, so I'm just creating the uh, robot one and robot two, okay? Robot one and robot two. So robot two is the published in the orchestrator. So robot one calls the robot two, okay? Here, Mr. Robot one, hi, Mr. Robot two. So my work is done. So you start your next process. Okay, robot two is saying that thanks, Mr. Robot one. Let me start. Okay, so basically, so just imagine this is a robot one is a third party application. So currently, I am using the UI path Studio only to call the robot. Okay, so let me prepare the robot two first. Okay, from the scratch, let me prepare the robot two. That is a I am named it as a micro robot. Okay, in the touch starting. So what it will do? It will just open the browser. Open. Open browser. Uh, or open browser um, any anything so just uh, google just type the google the robot to any sample applications the main concept is not like a uh, not not uh, uh, so the application basically so it just uh, prepare that uh, how to call basically maximize it's not maximize and what is a type into one type into applications just type into this uh, uh, text box so so to type something like a one dollar in I am not and you press the enter button. Okay, one dollar in INR. Once it is typed, it is showing it has to show. Uh, let us uh, store the value in the, uh, in the text file. Okay, so one text file. Around one dollar is the one text file. So it's so just uh, appending the text to this level uh, basically. Okay, append, append text. So before that, we have to get the text, right? Get text. So what is the text you have to get? Get text activity and get the, get the so what is the current price? Yeah. Okay. And this is stored into the one variable called current INR. This is the one variable. And just check the selector whether the selector has any value or not. It's nothing. So everything is clear. Okay. Everything is good. And uh, what happen? Uh, line. Okay. So it will append the line. So where is the uh, our file? Current dollar is a file path. Let's let me copy the file path here. And uh, current INR plus and the date now dot to string okay so it will write the it will adjust up in let me run again run the bot this is a bot 2 
software so I, I name it as a micro robot just running so now the part is we're preparing the robot 2 so once we prepare the robot 2 so we will publish the robot 2 into the orchestrator and we will prepare the uh, robot 1 and it is typing and it is getting the thing and uh, yeah once it is done just close the tab close tab okay that's done okay just check whether the anything is appended yeah it is not appended it's not taking the value basically one dollar in INR. okay now instead of this just take the it's only this number okay only this number and check whether the number comes or not highlight highlight so otherwise otherwise what we will do so we'll just use the ua explorer to indicate this element indicate and select this one See is there any other properties supporting properties uh, for that element just check so if there is any supporting properties just take that one uh, this will you will not take this one you should not take and you should not take this one uh, just take parent class oh, yeah that is fine Taking here, okay, done. Uh, yeah, run it. Let us see whether robot one two is executing or not. Robot two name is micro robot. So you can the Google type the one dollar in INR and say it's closed and just check whether it is stored the current value or not. It is stored the current value, right? Current value with the date. Yeah, so if you remove also, it will just append the value. Now, uh, robot is ready, so let's publish. So before that, just check whether the robot is, is, this is connected or not. I'm just uh, uh, going to the platform.uak.com, orchestrator. Yeah, it's already logged in. And uh, let's publish. Publish. Okay, publish. So now in the events we publish the packages under packages, you will know it will come under packages. Yes. What is the name is a micro micro robot. So currently it is a two. Just check. It is a third one is a micro robot. Okay, micro robot just uh, published. Okay, you, you can create a uh, package. So basically, micro robot and environment is same environment. And create. Uh, sorry, there is an error. <coughs> create micro robot and the environment is ready. So create it. Micro robot is there. So you can call that one from the. Uh, from the jobs also so you can just call the micro robot environment and uh, select the robots which you want to execute to start it's running so it will run in the target mission so current system is a target mission now it is typing and taking and close the browser so with success just check the text file it's just now okay now that is done. So just create a one more robot, uh, mini robot. There's a micro. This is a mini. Yeah, mini micro. So we'll name this same thing here also. Okay. So this is the mini mini robot, and this is a micro. 
micro is already there. Micro, micro already completed. The micro robot is already completed. This whole we published the micro robot to robot to micro so into the orchestrator. So we're preparing the mini robot. In this place of the mini robots, we can mm, you may have a third party applications. So in the alternate these things and all. So okay. So now how to use the API. Yes, I am using the orchestrator API. Just type the orchestrator API. Let's go to the orchestrator API guide. And here orchestrator API. So this is uh, uh, this is where you can get the all the URLs and these things and all. So let's go and call first. Uh, so to to just I'm just searching the uh, start job. How can we start the job? Okay. How can we start the job? So to start the job, so this is a endpoint. Okay, you can call this one by to start the jobs from the orchestrator. Any third party application from the any third party application. So this is a content type, this is a headers, and this is a body of the response. This is a uh, sorry request in the request body. So for the request body, what are all the things required? So we need the uh, result ID. What we'll do first, we have to to run the uh, start the uh, job basically to, to start the job. So what we require, we require the release key. So release key will release uh, in the releases. You have a release key. Uh, you need the again. You need the release release key. So this is there in the releases. Okay. So what is the other thing you require? Robots. How, which robots you want to execute? Okay. Robots. That is also in the robots URL. Okay, robot, robot ID basically, and uh, yeah, that's it. That is uh, that is uh, enough. Okay, so but to get these two, you have to authenticate first. Okay, authorizations. So you have to authorize the orchestrator by using by passing the tenant name, these things and all. So let's uh, having the orchestrator credentials. Orchestrator credentials. So this is uh, my ORC logins. So this is already ORC login. So I, I just loaded into this. There is a ORC logins uh, there in the text files. So what is ORC logins? ORC logins is a basically. So if you go to the top, you have a first you have to authenticate. Okay. So we'll go from the bottom. So for these two, so this is a one. This is a. This is a one. And this is a two, and this is a three. Final three, okay. Three. So we need to run the third one. So to run the start, to start jobs, you need the release key and robot release key of the project and robots. Which robot you have to execute? And to to get these two values, you need the uh, you need to authenticate basically. Okay, that is the first one. So we'll go. From here, first we will do this one, and next we will do this one, and next we will do this one, third one, and finally fourth one. Okay, fourth one. First authorization. So authorization. Just check that this is authenticate URL. Just copy and uh, just type the HTTP request. So if you don't find, you just uh, call create a Official API web APIs just install the UI path dot web dot activities. So we'll have a HTTP request activity. We install this one. Yeah. HTTP request is there. Just drag and drop and uh, use this URL. Click okay. Okay. 
so this is a what authentication http right so what is the verse is a authentication okay so authentication http authentication so within the authentication so we pass the what are all the things we have to pass we have passed the endpoint and json is a uh, accept uh, uh, format and we are giving the post request the post so it is a post request and what are all the things we have to uh, do so there is a content type so that is a headers you can pass the headers headers click this one So just check here. This is a content type. Okay. Just copy and paste here. And what is that? That is a string. And this is the. Or you can you can not required. You can just uh, use the uh, content type. This is a content type. Um, here somewhere you see this is a body of the format. JSON format. JSON format. Okay. So everything is ready. So everything is ready. So what you have to do? So one one thing is that you have to pass the body. So where is the body? Body is a like this one. Body is like this one. Okay. Tenant name. This is a JSON body. Tenant name and your tenant name and username uh, or email ID. That's the username and the email ID and password of this one. It's already uh, I stored into the text file. So let me read the text file here. Okay. Read. Read text. I'm just reading the text from the desktop or or, or login. Okay. So once it is there, or login is a string and pass. I'm passing the or login to this body. Or login dot to string. That is a body we passed. So what is the output? The output is the output. You will get the results. That is the authentication key or authentication result and authentication code. Authentication code. So just display those things and all using the right line. Authentication code and authentication code is integer to string. So you have to. So code is integer by default. It, it will come as a uh, 500, 200 like that. Authentication result. Okay, that is a string. Let's run. Whether it is authenticated or not. Let's test first the first part. Whether it will authenticate or not. Open the output. So this is a four. There is an error occurred. Error converting the value bracket to this one. Okay. Okay. So there might be a, might be a problem with this uh, my my authentication things. Actually, uh, it is unable to extract this one. What I will do? So I will just copy this one entire thing and uh, paste here instead of reading from this. And uh, let me paste directly the body. Done. Yeah, just check the output. Now it is a 200. So if you get the 200 is a code, then that that means it is a success. So we just uh, this is a this is a your result result key. So you need this result key up to where. So this is a result key. Okay, you need this result key to store the. So this is a result key. You need this result key. Okay, only result key. So to to get see we are working in this one this part just we are working in this part. The first part. Once that is run, that is a green. Okay, that is done actually. So deserialization. So it's just deserializing the uh, JSON format. So use the authentication result. 
so you will get the authentication jquery so that's j authentication j authentication so now we need only the key so key and if the key is a 200 that is a success if the key is a 200 authentication code equal to 200 that is a success right i'm just uh, uh, putting the result here uh, j authentication of result right that is that is what we got right j authentication dot result okay that is the uh, way i'm storing that one so because so why we need the result so to to do these whole two things so you need the results are uh, to do this authentication so to run the charge to get the rewards to get the all the releases you need to authenticate first so to authenticate that result uh, key the unique key is required for those three values so what what i, I am doing so i'm just uh, putting the uh, result key result key uh, equal to string that is a string and uh, yeah, sequence okay so just assign the result key assign the result key equal to this json dot to string to string so there is a result is a small letters just check here this result only okay, this result this is a key and that is a value you need to do that this result so once the result comes okay, once the result comes so what is the next part next part is this one so we will try this one the second part okay second part we will try what is the release what is the second part that is the robots right okay just check the robots robots so this is a endpoint for the robots take that one and go use the HTTP again, HTTP request, and this is the endpoint. So this is a get request, right? So this is a get request. Why? We are not. We are just getting the results actually, getting the how, how many robots are there. So for this, for get request, so we need to give this. This is a, here is a instead of XML JSON. Just put the JSON only headers. Okay, headers, the same thing. Headers, you can pass the same content type. And the content type is this one. Okay, let's listen carefully here. So this is a authorization. Authorization. The authorization is like a bearer and plus the uh, result result key. Okay, plus result key. Now you will you will get the again the result key. So robot uh, result and uh, robot robot code. Okay. So we'll get the robot result and robot code. Just display this is a further robots. Okay. So now just display this robot result and robot key. Okay. Robot uh, code dot to string. Whether it is coming the robots or robot result. Okay. We will just display the robot key and robot results. This is the second part. Getting the all the robots which is available in that particular tenant authentication it will get all the robots available robots uh, from the orchestrator by using this key the release key uh, that the result key it will go and it will get it is uh, getting the 401 the authentication problem you are not author authenticated so code one this one so success fail so you have authentication issue Okay, so let us try. So 
so this authentication key like this bearer so you have to give this like this uh where's a header oh oh where is that headers uh headers here okay so beer and result key result key is a result key so just display the result key also result key i am displaying here before calling result whether it is displaying properly or not. Let me try in again. So it is showing the some authentication. Hold on. Just check the output. Okay, first the result key comes and it is came the two okay so now it is executing properly so what we learned by using this error so this error is a good to get the errors the error is because of this space so earlier i didn't give the space here the space okay you should give the space and the key okay now it is getting the 200 is a success once this 200 comes so what what is the just check here this is the value Okay, there is a value so within the value value is an array of missions okay array of missions so value and uh, where is the where is the key so just check this is a mission id and name username description and type so just check here. everything is id okay this is id this id we required this id this is a robot id so this id we required so anyway as i have only one robot so i'm just directly so passing that uh, uh, the robot ID. So just uh, I'm passing the robot robot ID. One robot ID. The integer. Okay. And uh, yeah, one robot ID. How can we retrieve? So deserialization. Just use the deserialization and uh, robot result. Robot result. Now we just uh, go to the properties, create a one more uh, 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 variable called This conference will now be recorded. Okay, now I'm just creating the one variable called uh, uh, what is that? This is a robot, uh, J robot, okay, J robots. So J robots. So what is a J is now I'm using the assign operator just to store the robot ID. Okay, robot ID. So how can we store the robot ID? Robot uh, J robot J robots of J robots of value. Just check here value under values. You have a number of robots, right? So the first one is the only zero. It will the array starts with the zero. So value value and this is a zero at the robot. And what we require from the robot? Okay, value and within this robot we need the ID. This is the ID, right? I capital letter and D small letter. Okay, put the ID here. Again. Okay. I small uh, capital letter D small letter dot to string. Okay, now if you want to convert this into the uh, number uh, integer, you can convert by C int. Yeah, now the robot ID is come. Robot ID come. I mean, so what is that? You are completed this part. What is the next part? Next part is a release releases. Okay, next part is the releases. Once this robot is done properly and uh, what we need we need the leaders if if the robot that robot code equal to 200 then go and fetch the releases then http again request and what is the robots uh, releases releases so this is the releases so really a so releases, releases. Okay. 
yeah that first one the zero one okay oh there's so many now uh, old data slash releases yeah, this is a old data slash releases this is a url uh, okay copy this one and use this uh, end endpoint here and what is this is a releases now endpoint within the endpoint what we have to do we have to get that is a json and uh, so here also json json and what is a uh, we need headers headers uh, the only use the same headers so what you whatever you will use the headers authentication and you need the authentication and then there's a content type is this one and uh, next one is a uh, authorization authorization is so you know right mirror plus result key okay result keys from authentication author authentication we got the result key so just check the uh, result here uh, release result and release key uh, code this release code okay display the really same same thing again just check uh, whether it is coming release release code dot to string and release result just run So this is a one by one steps. Just check whether it is releasing properly. Yeah, it is released, right? So 200, it came the 200. So but it will give the all the releases. Okay, it will give the all the releases. What we need? So we need the key. We need the key. So here, uh, just check here what we need. So we need the robot ID, ID. Okay, robot ID. And here, this is a get request. Basically, this is a get request here we need the release key key and this is also get request and here this is a post request post and uh, post one a post and this will give the result okay result it will give authentication okay now we are doing this one so this is the one we are doing now okay let us see uh, uh, so we got this uh, uh, 200 so what we need so we need the uh, within this whole JSON format we need the key okay so we need the key particular key so how can we identify the key so the value of the keys so let us check just observe so uh, ours is a what is the robot name ours is a micro robot so is there any robot names are there Let's check there is a key key like that key name key name okay process key Pro, this is a process uh, so here just more here we have a value okay again this is a value and the key okay and the value key so what we will do so we will loop okay we will loop uh, before that deserialization this deserialize all the object and release uh, release uh, release uh, result release result j release j release okay so in the j release there's a lot of uh, things right suppose j release of value of how can we know the number 
right? We don't know the number, right? So this is basically you can loop this number. So value is a key pair. How to loop each item in JSON array? In vb.net or in UI path, anything. Okay. So we will iteration over JSON. How can we iterate the JSON? So example, this is an array. So it's the same looks like the ours. So what we have to do? So we have to give the count and the I count and uh, object at uh, object at array array is a JSON array and this is a object at this one object at uh, let me check whether this uh, uh, dot count dot string how many are there. Uh, how many are there and uh, so what is the value so just check the value also okay uh, dot to string so it will give the all the array how many are there you can have uh, multiple methods so we can use a for each also just uh, so here if you observe uh, for each loop through the JSON return return from API. Yeah, what is this? So this is a good, let's go to the page three. Okay, three, each one is a one uh, release. So, okay, three, it is giving three. So we'll use the normal thing only, okay? Normal thing only, so uh, uh, I'm just using the while loop. So you can use the for each anything, okay? So, but I'm using the while loop. So I'm using the I value, I equal to, uh, integer and that is a uh, and that thing and uh, this is a, a starts with a zero okay i is a zero and i is a, a less than so the whole thing so it's count is count three okay and it will repeat so while repeating i'm just uh, adding the assign operator i equal to i plus one so to get go to the next next item okay so now I'm just uh, let me display the, all the values, all the keys and values. So this is a key. Uh, this is a key, and uh, yeah, this count is not required. Okay. So within that, you can see you can use the i. I is the individual item into the you. And what what you require? So process name is also there. Dot to string. Process name. Just check the process name here. Process name. Uh, uh, name is there. Name and uh, what is the process key? Process key. That is what we need. Process key is a hello world, and here is the process key is a microbot. Microbot. This is we need. Process key. And process key that that too. That is a microbot. Micro robot. Okay. Process key. It will display the process key. Otherwise, just type the if condition, if condition, and uh, <clears throat> use the same here. Not required to print it again. Uh, here, dot equals. So it should be equal to process version. This is a micro bot. It should be after this. Microbot. This is a name of the bot. Uh, yeah, this is a process key, right? This is a process key. Yeah, if it is a, it is a uh, this one, uh, then so you need the key. You need the, you need the another one is a, you need the release key. release i key. just i am just using the i key release i key 
Let's uh, use the assign operator. Just drag and drop. Release psych key equal to the same thing. Entire thing, entire thing uh, from the string. Entire thing is the same. And instead of key, so what we need, we need the key. This is a key. Okay. We need the key of that particular bot. Just remove this. Okay. Key. It will be the key. Now we get the key here and robot ID is ready and everything is ready and uh, this part is also done. The final step is a job run. That is the final step. Okay, let's go and execute. So once this is done, this is done. So first of all, you need the if condition. Once it is a success only, once it is a success only, you just do everything. Okay. So release code equal to 200. Once the release code is a 200 for that, then you do all the things. Otherwise, don't do. Yeah, this is the final part and release key. Release key is ready. Now, uh, this is a step to call. HTTP request again and that is a uh, just check the start job start job this is a endpoint this is endpoint just start job copy and use the endpoint here this is a post request okay this is job okay this is a post request okay so use the JSON and this is a post request. So for the post request, the body is there. Okay, post request and here is a instead of Excel JSON. And uh, okay, so you have you have to form this one. You have to form this one. Okay, content type. Just release this one. And then type and uh, yeah so only thing is a header okay. header you have to form header is a this is a header okay everything you just keep into the uh, double quotes okay double quotes put everything in the double quotes each double quotes you just mentioned in the double double quotes double double quotes okay uh, here is a double double quotes double double quotes Double double quotes, double double quotes, and uh, yeah, let me make a big screen. Here there are no rows, double double quotes, double double quotes. So don't make, uh, change these things and all these things as as this put as this. And uh, the, the thing is here here instead of this one, so I'm just putting the uh, um, robots robot ID. Okay, that is a robot ID. And what is the next one? Next one is uh, instead of key, this key, I'm just putting the uh, release key, release I key, okay? I key that everything is already, so I'm just making everything into the one single line. So I, this is uh, maybe this key with this key is a what is i i robot uh, is a string and robot is so robot id is an integer that's why it is a uh, showing error so just make that is a robot id dot to string okay done so once this is done this is executed just uh, do the result uh, this is a final result final res and this is a final code. Okay. So just I'm removing everything, everything, every uh, right line. Okay, so only that right line. I'm just passing the right line here uh, to store the final code dot to string and uh, final result. Okay, just run now. 
This is what we are just uh, trying to do this uh, fourth one. That, that is the final goal, our goal, right? So we are able, we have to execute, we have to trigger the robot from the orchestrator by using the another robot or any third party application using the orchestrator API. So just uh, check. So this 004 is there, authentication problem. So we didn't authenticate it, right? So we didn't authenticate this one. So how to authenticate? So in the headers, so we have another argument called authentication, right? Authorization. Authorization. And there we are ER space and plus result key. Uh, result key. Okay. That is a authorization. It's not authorized. Uh, just run again. This is a post request. Okay, just check output. 201. 201 means, yeah, it is executing. See, the robot is executing. Now it is executing. Understand? So, uh, success. Successfully run the robot. Uh, this this robot does not have a this mini robot. So now this mini robot is calling the micro robot. Just see here. See here. So second line is executed, right? Forty seven. So let me execute this robot again. This is a mini robot. Mini robot will call the micro robot. Mini robot will call the micro robot. What is the micro robot that robot two will do? Robot two will uh, already published in the orchestrator. It will just open the browser and go to the Google and type the one dollar in INR and just check the uh, the current price of the, the INR. See, it is stopped. So because it is triggered, okay, it is triggered the my uh, the second robot. So now the robot say, uh, second robot will execute. Just check. Yeah, it will execute. So just if you want to observe the orchestrator. Let me log in to the orchestrator. We'll see any jobs are run. Just now, see, just now it is a triggered. One robot is triggered. So it is running. So it will just trigger the robot from the orchestrator and it will close. Now it is a, a minute ago. It is started. Just check the our X file. X file. Yeah, this is a 49. Understand? 149. Okay. So I'm just uh, using the again. This is uh, running the second robot. Uh, so how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five. This five times it is called. Just check the jobs page in orchestrator. Jobs page in the orchestrator. So once the jobs page, it will add the new job. Just check here. Yeah, it is added, right? It is in pending mode. Now it will start. We start in, the, in progress. This job is added. Now it will open the browser. So micro robot is executing. Who will trigger micro robot? Who triggered the micro robot? The mini robot. Robot one is triggered. The robot two. In, in place of robot one, you can have anything. That means uh, .NET code, Java code, or uh, HP PHP code. Any any code. Okay. Now you see, it's a micro robot is executing. Okay. So this is the orchestrator API. Okay, so orchestrator API, if you want to start any job, so these are all the steps you have to follow. So these are all the steps. First, authentication. And once you get the result key and uh, use the robots, and it is a get, get, and post request. This is a post request, okay? So two post requests. So thanks for watching. So please subscribe to uh, UiPath.Learner. Uh, that is uh, my channel, UiPath.Learner. So in the below, uh, I'll post the this, this maybe this uh, URL for the description in the description. 
Okay, so just check uh, UI path learner. We just okay. So just this is the UI path dot learner UL, and just share this video uh, to your friends, and click on the bell icon also subscribing. Okay, subscribe this channel okay, so that you will get the notifications. If you forgot to click on the bell icon, so you will not get the uh, notifications so any if I put if I upload any new video okay thanks for watching so thank thanks a lot bye bye